In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light reflection on the day's readings. It's the 16th of May. Tuesday of the 6th week of Easter, the United Nations General Assembly on December 8, 2017 declared May 16 the International Day of Living Together in Peace as a means of regularly mobilizing the efforts of the international community to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and solidarity. Second, the International Day of Light is celebrated on May 16. Each year, the anniversary of the first successful operation of the laser in 1960 by physicist and engineer Theodore Maiman. That's about the civil celebration on this day. On May 16, we remember Saint Simon Stock, a Carmelite priest. He was born in 1165 in England. At 12, Simon lived as a hermit and practiced fasting, living on herbs, roots and wild apples. He seems to have gone on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land where he joined a group of pilgrims or crusaders. These pilgrims or crusaders gathered and lived somewhat as hermits at the well of Elijah on Mount Carmel towards the end of the 12th century. When the Saracens made it impossible for that group to stay in the Holy Land, they moved to Europe and eventually to Islesford, England. In 1254, Simon was elected their superior general in London. A lady is said to have appeared to Simon in Cambridge, promising that whoever died wearing the brown Carmelite scapular would be saved, and this has been a source and occasion of popular devotion. St. Simon Stock died in France in 1265, 100 years after his birth. He has been publicly venerated since the 15th century. St. Simon Stock, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, now let's pay attention to the Gospel reading of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 16, verses 5 to 11. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, 
he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment concerning sin because they do not believe in me concerning righteousness because i go to the father and you will see me no longer concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ sin and righteousness and condemnation if you were to read this line out of context it might sound like the start to a hellfire and brimstone sermon but it's not it's actually a description of the three key roles of the holy spirit in this passage the disciples are coming to the realization that jesus won't be with them forever but jesus assures them that he will send the holy spirit the advocate to take his place and what was this advocate going to do for them jesus lists three things all of which still apply to us first the holy spirit comes to show us our sin but not to accuse us or overwhelm us with guilt on the contrary even as he shows us our imperfection he sets our hearts at rest by telling us how merciful jesus is that leads us to his second role to show us the righteousness of christ since jesus is not walking with us in the flesh the holy spirit speaks to our hearts about who he is he reveals christ in the scriptures in communion and in our prayer he shows us jesus justice his mercy his compassion and his power finally the spirit comes to bring condemnation but this condemnation is not directed at us rather he shows us that satan is condemned and that all his plots and schemes are doomed the holy spirit is at work in you all the time even when you can't sense him he is the one urging you to go to confession when your conscience is weighing heavy on you he is the one encouraging you to spend time with the scriptures or be more attentive at mass He is the one who inspires you to live differently one day at a time. He is always urging you to get to know Jesus better. Take time today to invite the Holy Spirit to move more freely in your heart. Ask him to show you areas that he wants to help you change. let him give you a deeper understanding of the holiness and love of jesus just as jesus assured his disciples that the holy spirit would be with them he assures you that the holy spirit is and will always be working in you holy spirit I invite you into every area of my life. Speak to me today. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the psalm is a hymn of praise to God for the way God responds to the cries of those who trust in God. 
it is the right hand of god which brings salus to those who call upon god's name let's pray that psalm now your response with your right hand you save me o lord with your right hand you save me o lord i thank you lord with all my heart you have heard the words of my mouth In the presence of the angels I praise you I bow down toward your holy temple With your right hand you save me O Lord I give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness You have exalted your name over all On the day I called you answered me You increase the strength of my soul With your right hand you save me O Lord With your right hand you save me The Lord will accomplish this for me O Lord your merciful love is eternal discard not the work of your hands With your right hand you save me O Lord Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen pray for god's blessing now may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear friends we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially sister mary agnes carmelite Gloria Rao from Mumbai Ion Fernandez from Kire presently in Kuwait Alvin Fernandez from Nalasopara Mumbai Denzil Machado from Merlapadao Mangalore Wish you all a happy birthday God bless you Leo and Lily Fernandez from Jerry Mary Mumbai are celebrating their silver wedding today Congratulation dear friends may god bless your family life and we pray for the departed soul of peter sequera from santa cruz mumbai may the lord grant him eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye